This mine's got a huge history of production, which was one of the big things that brought us out here. Um, to find a mine that's this big, that's not on private property, is like Jess said, is extremely hard to find. Um, guys that put this together have probably got hundreds of thousands of dollars into it, and that is, you know, 1920s to 1950s money. So the name of this mine that we're at here is called the Stockwell Mine, and this mine is the, I don't really want to say epitome, but uh, this is what makes mine exploration fun. When you find something like this, it's big, there's lots to see, lots of tunnels, drifts, added stopes, you know, um, it's an entire anthill of workings back there. You think it's coming down? Very cool. Yeah. Kind of looks like it goes that way a little bit, but I'm not sure that I want to go that way. I think I kind of want to go this way. That's probably the more substantial road though. Yep. <laughs> what we try and do is, uh, we already know that based on the way the mountains are coming down and some of the research, that all of the loads are coming basically running westward. So the claim that we've written is to come down the mountain and that'll give somebody, whoever gets in on it, they can also run through, run like a placer claim. And if they want to wash through some of this for gold, they can wash through it. But I try and steer people more toward load claims because uh, the load gold is the big hard gold that they're going to get a lot more of. Whereas the placer stuff, you could sift through this for, you know, a week or two and maybe get an ounce out, whereas you can just go right up in the mine, find where the vein's at, and pull that out in five minutes, so. See my flat there? See some of the claim markers? Yes. All right, take me to them then. I'm on you. There's a split to the side canyon that had a few more workings, but this is the big one, so you can see you've got the tailing coming off something up there. Another one here, a small one. This may have been something that's gone. And it looks like you've got a possibly a hole there that might tail down there. And then just that little next ridge over where it looks like it might go down. But I think our biggest is gonna be these couple of levels over here. On to the next. That's a short one. Yeah, that one down below looks good. I was starting to get a little discouraged. <laughs> My name is Jessica Schumann. I am Vice President for Gold Rush Expeditions. So one of the things I love is the, the discovery of the mines. You never know what's gonna be around that next turn, around that next corner. Sometimes you turn a corner and it's a dead end. It's a big wall in front of you. And sometimes you turn a corner and you find artifacts and relics and ladders that you can climb up and down. You can find gold and silver. And it's always such a wonderful discovery around the next corner. Every once in a while, I find a mine that I absolutely have to have. I have to keep it. It has to be made for me and mine only. So every once in a while, I want to keep one for myself. Holy shit. Okay, so this is some gorgeous uh, blue in here, Schumann. Come take a look. Holy crap. Okay, this is gorgeous. Over here and look. What'd you find? Kelpenbite. Wow, look at that color. I know, isn't it gorgeous? I'm We've just, only got two more levels. I can see both of them. I'm using your safety factor. I can't see what you're seeing. But so that ladder it looks like it goes in. That, that direction. doesn't appear to be attached to anything. Okay. Okay. Good. I'm not trying to be a dick, but you're holding on to that ladder and it's with your buddy and it's down there. Okay. All right. You got it. There's three of them. Are they just all stokes or are they drafts? I can't really tell. Hey, hey Schumann, I think you left your dog down here. Yeah? Yeah, I took it out. Dogs. They're definitely maybe of the dog family. They got the claws. Oh, but look at those whiskers. Let's see the whiskers and then look at the tail on that thing. Oh my god, there's two of them. Some sort of critter. Might be, yeah, I don't know. Definitely good mummified, but that's not a that's not a dog nose. That's almost a, uh, a weasel of some sort. This might have been maybe an old workway that they used, and as they started getting more uh, newer modern mining, they just kind of uh, left it be, and maybe that explains up top too why they blocked off that other area. I think we're just scratching the surface. As soon as we get to a lower entrance, we're going to see a lot more. Well, then let's go. This is just a small piece of it. To get a site like this, if you're going to buy a patented site, it would probably run you $15, $20 million, at least, and that's with no proven reserves. I cannot believe how big this mine is. This thing is huge. Hell, we could probably bring a small truck down here. Definitely an ATV. There's definitely some more going on up here. This thing is a monster. Processing is a lot better than it is now, so 
To get a site like this, if you're gonna buy a patented site, it would probably run you 15, 20 million dollars at least, and that's with no proven reserves. Um, the way we do them like this, we find something like this, it'll maybe go for anywhere from 50 to $75,000, and somebody will be able to work this for the next, you know, 50, 100, 200 years, and probably still have stuff coming out of it. So, I mean, it's kind of what we like to do is put people on sites like this that they would never, ever be able to afford otherwise, so. These ones are super long too, but they feel really nice. Hold on, let me just come out a little bit more. Or is it just a small radius? Hey, I'm gonna check this out, boys. Just see where it goes before you come up. Do you have a safe method of getting up? That you're gonna have your three points of contact. Usually she uses logic. Every once in a while she gets a little excited about uh, what she's gonna find, so I always like to be there and kind of rein her in, but hopefully. Yeah, if we hear her scream, we'll know that she went farther than she should have. Uh, here's the top of that ladder set. There is a little bit of a drift up here. Um, I know it's a little bit of some kind, not quite sure what it is, but I'll bring it out. Okay, good to know. Um, yeah, bring down what you found and uh, we'll scoot our way out and see if we can find another entrance. I would conservatively guesstimate that there's probably a good five miles of ant hill tunnels wandering around through this mine. Um, all of that you're going to be able to look around, pick ore out of, and uh, you know that's for the average person, even for an average team of guys, you know that's going to take you years and years to get through, which is just amazing to find something like this that's still intact like this.